Robin, the prevailing cosmological theories are that due to the expansion of the universe and now the acceleration of the expansion, that there is a virtual certainty that the universe will gradually expand into effectively nothingness. And if you go far enough out, there'll be an evaporation of black holes and protons or whatever. And so ultimately, you'll have random radiation, you know, one photon every 10 to the hundredth light years or something. And that's it. That's where we're headed. What is a the theist do with that reality? Well, there's a couple of sort of answers that theists can do with that. One, they can just say the purpose of the universe was simply as a place for conscious beings like human beings to exist and then maybe um, do whatever they were meant to do, such as turn to God and then ultimately their destiny is um, in eternal life. Um, in some other realm. In some other realm. And then the universe has basically served its purposes and, and goes and dies out. I prefer to think, as a theist, that God has more of a purpose for the universe than just that. I prefer to think, and following um, some of the Eastern Orthodox understanding of the um, teachings of the Christian scriptures, is that the universe itself is ultimately destined to participate in the life of God. Now, how so? How, and how do I reconcile that with science? Well, I would claim that as far as we know, there may be a subtle order that we do not see in the universe that's going to be activated somehow, resulting in a transformation that we can hardly imagine of the universe. Think of the caterpillar. If we looked at a caterpillar right now, and we didn't know that it was going to go to a butterfly, turn into a butterfly, we would probably extrapolate out, it will just remain a caterpillar. We wouldn't see that hidden information that's in the caterpillar to become a butterfly. In fact, from the caterpillar's perspective, it couldn't even imagine being a butterfly. Same thing for the universe. What you are presupposing is that, as a theist, you would have believed that God built into the order of things this potentiality, this inevitability, mm -hmm. that there will be this transformation at some time. Correct. That is different than many Christian theists believe, mm -hmm. where God would have to have a supernatural, uh, artificial, if you will, intervention changing the laws or changing the current order to create a new world. The problem with that view is that it becomes less and less clear how to see that the new creation of God as being the same as the old creation. So what seems to happen under that view is this universe just goes off and decays, and then God just replaces it with a whole new kind of universe, a new matter and space-time. And so it's not really a transformation of this world, but just a replacement. So your belief is that the future of human beings, the place that we will experience this afterlife, is a transformation of the current heavens and earth. I wouldn't say it's a belief of mine. It's more of an idea I'm <laughs> thinking about or exploring. And, I mean, it might be the transformation of this world and some other stuff. And maybe not just restricted to this world. Maybe we could move from this world to another universe that was created and underwent the same transformation. So your argument would be that there is something special in the way the universe is structured yes. to enable this transformation to occur? A, a more subtle level than we've even discovered at this point that enables it to occur. Now, maybe it would need divine help, but it just simply wouldn't be simply a supernatural act. It would also be tied into some structure in the universe itself. And that we, as um, in the salvation process, right. according to your theology, would participate in that uh, or, or, or spend our eternity in that transformed We would universe. be connected to that universe in eternity. And this would be a, uh, um, uh, a bodily resurrection or? Right, it would be a transformed body too. So I, I think I'm, another idea I'm exploring is that 
the body itself is transformed or resurrected at the same time as the transformation of the universe. But your transformation of the universe was slow and progressive. Right. Transformation of the body, uh, you know, does, it seems, I don't know how that's going to happen slowly. That seems like it's going to happen fast or not at all. Well, the full transformation of the universe, it might have, you know, a beginning slope and then it might really take off. <laughs> so it might be very quick in, in its full um, the full changeover of the universe.